so into our previous video we have checked for the resource which can we can see for the what the performance they have and also we can use the different diagnostic tools as well as command to use it so here in this video i'm going to show how to use these tools and how we can modify the processes entries and the priorities into this particular video so let us start with the terminal here so we can check the processes of the system by using the ps space hyphen e and we can check the number of processes that will contain your process ids in which terminal you generally have logged in from when you are uh, you know start you have started with that particular process and which process you are started so for example i'm using um firefox i have started So if I've started the Firefox from a root login, so basically this is a foreground process. So until I am uh, you know, closing my Firefox, I won't be able to get the prompt here. So that's the reason I'm coming into the other terminal and I'm going to the command. So I have defined the password and let us check the process right so it is showing you that the fire first process is start just four seconds ago right so this is the PID automatically gets generated and then the process it will give the detail of the process now once I end the process by pressing the control C the Firefox is gone from here and you can find again into process hyphen E there will be no Firefox process here means it will create your process and it will also manage your process it will check for what particular processes generally you have same way this is like you know uh, if I am starting a process I need to move into this particular command and I need to check it what the status is but what if, if I want to check the uh, status continuously I can give top command just give top and hit enter so it will show you the complete you know information about your different uh, this particular uh, processes and also it will add you what is the resources utilized so you can see it is uh, showing you the percentage of your utilized resources that is your CPU the memory what is the virtual memory we have used what is the nice value and what is the priority so let us check what the nice values and priorities are like uh, whenever we have a uh, certain task or you know certain processes all these processes are having some priorities like based on the highest priority or you know not the, which is having the high priority will have the first preference by the your resources to perform the same way here if you have the lowest one you cannot but how you are going to set this priority but uh, if you am talking about setting the priority then the priorities which we can set that is from minus 20 to plus 20 now when I'm going to set the process this number is the highest number but it, has, it will have the lowest priority the highest priority will be given to this particular number that is minus 20 so how we'll check here you can see the priority numbers we have 20 some have 9 some have uh, zero so these are the priorities generally we have by defining the top commands right so if I want to you know create a particular process and I want to change the priority of it I can also do it by using the really nice value so if I want to check for a nice value for a particular process how we generally do it so generally I can give nice command so there is no process as of now started so I'm just going to start my Firefox process and to backend so if I want to make it as a background process I can give you know uh, ampersand signed along with the process so it will be started in the backend and I'll be getting the prompt here right in spite my Firefox is on I'm getting the prompt so that is the background process generally we can put it out now if I'm going to check for the jobs so it is showing me this is a job which is running as of now correct so now we can check for the job which we have started that is this is the job and it has the priority right 
and check for Firefox, like where the Firefox is. So we need to find it where the Firefox is located through this. The different processes are continuously they like, you know they are changing their priority that's the reason it is completely varying and showing you the status of all the running processes sleeping processes stop processes and zombie processes and i want to check what's the NAS value i have for my process so we can also check into ps hyphen e Or we can also move here into the utility and we can check sorry into the system tools and we can check for the system monitors so again it will check show me into the process window the process which are going on for the you know priorities which we have set to it right so it is a normal priority you can check for the priority what we have set so it is showing you the CPU and this is the second generally we have we just started the priorities again normal right so this is how generally we can change the priority of a particular devices now we also have the you know process called as Firefox which is enabled actually it is showing you the processes started by the trainer so we are we have started the process under the Fire for this is root, so it's not able to show us the process here. Or we can also use this ps command by adding some parameters into it, like if I want to add uh, O and PRI, so it will show me the pre uh, IDs, and I can also check for all the priorities IDs along with the process IDs and the process name. I can give it ps space hyphen E hyphen O. I want to check for UID. I want to check for a PID that is a process ID. I want to check for PPIT and PRI. This is my priorities IDs. Nice value and your command. So I want to check everything. So here uh, it is showing me the command but I will be using into the it has more you can see this is the PIDs and um, these are the processes generally you have so I'm going to check for the process which I have enabled so I have enabled the process called as the Firefox we can also check for a particular process over here or we can also use uh, grep symbol actually we haven't used the grep yet but I'm going to use it now grep Firefox so you can check this is the command I have used completely so these are having a multiple parameters I have uh, told my process to check and uh, this particular headings I require into it and I just want to check the Firefox because it gives me a lot of list so I do not want to check for all the lists just I want to search for Firefox into it and I want page wise so now if like you know if you filter so you don't if you do not want to define more also you can because there is only two processes which is you know running into this system so this is the Firefox process which is having a process ID and the, the you know your uh, nice value which we are going to see over here so very first column is for UID and uh, PID we generally have and uh, this is PPID and this is the process ID so now it is getting a process ID 19 means it is not on the priority now if I want to change the priority of this particular process we'll give the really nice value and we can define the value here like if I want to make it as a priority so I'll give uh, minus so I'll define it into the negative values I'll define the mag uh, minus 12 
to the same process ID we can define or the process name we can define so I'm just going to define the process ID so I'm going to define the process ID as 5608 sorry 5608 So what is the process ID? We need to check for this Firefox. This 3840. Okay, so this is 3840. This is your process ID. Okay, this is the UID. Okay. So renice hyphen n minus 12 to 3840. Let us check the process ID of this value. Again by giving the same command. We can check. The process ID is changed to minus 12 means this is at higher priority so let us check uh, generally if I'm logging through the particular uh, user now for example if I get logged in with the user and uh, you can see this top command has taken this Firefox on the top because it has the high priority right so this is what exactly the priority is like how we can change the priority like nice and three nice values as well like if suppose I want uh, to directly get access to the uh, my trainer itself because as I've got logged in through my uh, user uh, that is my super user root you are not able to get the process which I'm going to start into the graphical terminal as well. So if I want to use the graphical terminal, in spite of using the pick command which we have used over there, I'll be using just the application, system tools and your system monitor. And I'm going to start a task here. So I'm going to start a task called as Firefox ampersand and I'm going to again start the gedit and ampersand means I'm starting a background task I'm going to minimize both the task here and we can find this particular task into this so just I'm going to refresh the same so we can check here it was just showing you the active process so our Firefox was Firefox is over here so it is getting you know the CPU utilization this is this is the priority which is normal as of now so I just want to raise the priorities of both of this particular processes so for that uh, I know the process so even the process you can check by using the jobs as well as you can use by using the hyphen G and find out what the process you want that is Firefox I want so I can check for Firefox process this is the process ID and I want to renize the value I want to change the priority so I can give renize hyphen N to for example I want to make it a highest priority that is minus 18 I'll define and then I'll define 5364 hit enter okay so it's showing you minus 18 is not permitted as of now first so okay I'll use the minus 14 okay so operation is not permitted because we are not a root or user and a limited right user cannot do it so I'll use this renice hyphen n hyphen 18 or hyphen 14 we can use it and uh, 5364 hit enter so you can see it has been changed and let us see over here the Firefox is has changed the priority to very high same way we can also change it for the gedit as well it is again normal I'm just going to keep it around uh, you know minus 4 itself so you can see here the priority of your gedit is again normal if I keep it minus 10 and uh, I'll change the process ID. I'm so sorry. I have not changed the process ID of the machine. It, I made it, it for your Firefox. So Firefox has gone for high. So if I want to change the process ID of my gedit, again I need to check for the jobs, and for that again I want to get login through the trainer profile. So trainer is having gedit, and this is a job which we are running. So again we will be giving the command 
p s space uh, hyphen e and crep and then the you know g edit the process which we are running but showing you g edit now this is the process id again if i want to change it again i have to get login through the root as we do not have rights for it i'm going to change it by giving the command again renice hyphen n minus 11 for the g edit process that is 5755 we can set here the g edit has became very high priority right so this is how we can change the priority by using the nice command so we have seen nice commands we have seen the re nice command and also we have seen like how we can change the priorities to high very high and the other way same way we can also use the net set command to check the net status that will show you which are the network ports are enabled which are running so all this particular ports i can check into this terminal so net state i sign more you can check for all the network status what is the you know the status of the network is correct so what are the processes which are running into backend and also we have the command so this particular all the commands we generally use for the you know monitoring the process and also we can check the uptime of the system we can check this is the uptime and what is the load average generally the system has and also we have seen the using the ps command we can use the profiling so we can use the profile command for getting the you know profile okay so this command is uh, prof okay so user profiling is not supported actually we i do not have packages for it so i won't be able to use it into the red hat so you can also check for the profiles for the you know what are the uh, complete process which we generally have so generally we are using ps it is the same thing which generally we get out over here so the same we have um, used multiple utilities to check for the performance to manage the processes generally we have even we have seen how we can manage the process and we can uh, start the process into the backend we have seen we have the jobs which are running into the backend into the trainer terminal so we can check for the jobs which are running into the backend and now if i want to take it into foreground process so that i can uh, work it on it so i can use fg and the process id i can define or the job number we can define so right now uh, we are doing to define fgg edit so you can see now it is on this particular process now until i'm closing this particular process or you know i'm terminating this particular g edit i won't be able to get the console that means it is a foreground process same way if i want to send any particular process to the background again i will be able to use pg right so this is the um process management tools generally we have by default into the linux operating system and we have seen how to use those particular tools so there are a lot of commands there are a lot of parameters of these commands which we have just seen into the linux operating systems and uh, you can check with all the particular commands and there you know the uh, complete parameters we have so in the next we are going to check for the logs of this particular linux operating systems so let us see how we can check it into the next video